several years ago, my wife and I visited Beijing, China, and um, we went to this very large temple in the center of Beijing, which is called the Forbidden City. And in front of this large temple is a huge square, a huge square called Tiananmen Square. This, for many centuries, was the political and spiritual center of the Confucian philosophy in China. I want to just describe that, that's, that uh, forbidden, it's called the Forbidden City. I want to describe this Forbidden City a bit right at the front end of this lecture, which helps to give a picture of the kinds of values and understandings and philosophies that, uh, that Confucianism is all about. When you, when you come to, uh, to, to China and you want to enter this forbidden city, the uh, first gate, that, that huge gate that you saw in that picture, is called the Gate of Heavenly Peace. And when you come through that gate, there are then five small um, uh, walkways, little bridges that go across a moat. And each of these bridges has a name which relates to values within Confucianism. The first bridge is called benevolence. Benevolence. And you see it there in the outline. The bridge is benevolence, the first bridge. And the second bridge is uh, righteousness. And the third bridge is rights. And the next bridge is intelligence. Um, and the final bridge is uh, fidelity. Fidelity. These five values are all very significant within Confucian political philosophy. And so when you enter the gate of heavenly peace, you cross one of these bridges that are going over a little moat. And then after you've crossed these little bridges, you see in front of you several very large palaces. Uh, the first palace that you see is the palace of supreme harmony. And then you go through that palace and you come to the next palace, which is the palace of complete harmony. And then you go on beyond that and you come to the next palace, which is the palace of preserving harmony. On either side of the palace of preserving uh, harmony are two more palaces. One is called the palace of mental cultivation. And on the other side, the palace of heavenly purity. Now, once a year, the emperor would bring together the 300 best scholars in all of China who have been studying Confucianism for many, many years. The 300 best scholars would be brought, doesn't happen anymore, but they would be brought to this uh, very large forbidden city for their final examinations. If they pass those examinations, they would be qualified then to become advisors to the emperor. And so students all over China from the time they're in first grade, as it were, would begin studying Confucian values year after year. And then finally the day comes for the great examinations. And this is where the examinations are given. And the emperor himself would preside over the examinations to see if these students, these 300 students, were qualified to become advisors to the government. Um, when a uh, visiting dignitary came, I'm told, he would then sit here with the uh, emperor, and they would talk and discuss things together and so forth. Each of these um, palaces, you'll notice, has something to do with values which are very important within the political system. And three of those palaces had to do with harmony that Confucian values and so forth were to bring about harmony. This system, this forbidden city, was built in the 15th century, uh, you know, and for 24 emperors, this was their home, this is where they held forth, this is where they ruled China, this is where the scholars would come for examinations to learn, um, uh, to, 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 to determine whether they were ready to become advisors to the emperor. It was a phenomenal enterprise, um, and this whole system was there at the very heart of this whole Confucian system. Then, in 1925, 
there was a revolution in China, and this revolution overthrew this system. And so from 1925 until the present day, the system of examinations and so forth is no more. But notice that for hundreds of years, this was at the center of the uh, Chinese political system. This Have you benefited from our teaching ministry? Have you found TVS videos helpful and relevant? Please consider supporting us with your prayers and financial gifts. For more information, visit tvsseminary.com.